too steep. Okay, here's the shaft plane. Here's the elbow plane. Most players on the PGA Tour swing the club head and the shaft somewhere in this zone. Yours is not going to be in that zone. It is on the backswing for, for a period of time. You've raised your hands up a little bit and you've, st you've straightened up. So take a watch here. Your head's going to go up and it's going to go back down. But look where the club is. It's too, it's too steep. So your shots are going to be on the toe because your club shaft's going to be very vertical when it hits the ground. Right. The problem is that it's timing at that time. That's right. So, here's what we're going to do. We're going to flatten your swing. And the reason we're flattening your swing is we want your hands to work more in a circle. Your hands, Bob does the same thing. Michael used to do that. He doesn't do that anymore. But he used to, Bob goes up and down, and I want him to go around more. Now, you're perfectly capable of going around more. So, When you take a backswing, I want the club to drop in that zone. See how the shaft's parallel to the shaft plane line? Yeah. You're coming out. That's too steep coming down there. See it? All right. So. Where should your hands be at the top? They should be over here. Your left arm should swing across your chest a little bit more. I don't know. So this is my, I know that. Like I've worked with enough people. Mm -hmm. But the issue is that I don't turn as much. You don't turn? I don't know. That, that's what I feel, that I don't turn. You turn. I can measure with 3D technology. I would bet your shoulder turns somewhere around 80 degrees, which is within the normal range. I don't, I don't, you couldn't generate enough club head speed if you had no shoulder turn. You, your, your swing's fairly efficient. It's just off plane. Okay. It's too steep. Uh, but I don't think it would be steep for long. If you take these pros, you know, and you look at them, you go, okay, well, his hands are deeper. What does depth mean? His hands are further behind his right shoulder. Well, what that does is it allows the club to shallow out. See how his club shallows out and comes in from the inside? Well, that's what we've got to get you to do if you want to be more consistent. That's all.